Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new FUT17 player review. We're going to take a look at someone very quick today. It is the new second in form, Timo Werner. So, the German plays his football in the Bundesliga and he's now 84 rated. He's got 94 pace as well as 85 dribbling and 88 shooting. Really awesome stats for a striker there. He's 5 foot 11 with medium medium work rates. Right footed of course with 3 star skill moves and a nice 4 star weak foot. So going on into a couple of different squads that you could use this player in. The first is a bit of a mix between the Premier League, the Italian League and the German Bundesliga as well. Where his strike partner is the 86 rated Immobile. Uh, now moving on into the team that I actually used him in. It was just my full on standard Bundesliga side with a few special items in there. Ones to watch Renato Sanchez, SBC Vidal and Muller. And the third in form Anthony Modest as his strike partner today. So moving on into the in-game stats for Timo Werner, we are now looking at this second in form, um, and he also got a ratings refresh upgrade too, so he's a higher rated player than we definitely would have thought of at the start of the season. And on basic chemistry style, we're looking at 96 pace, 88 dribbling, and 91 shooting. Very decent, however today I wanted to boost both the dribbling stat and the shooting stat as much as possible. I felt like 69 strength and 74 physical was just almost too low to try and boost. You know, we've tried it in the past and it hasn't really helped. So let's just, you know, keep that pace at 94 and, and really try and boost some of the more important areas such as his dribbling and shooting to see if we can get the most out of him. So moving into the goals and the clips and the shots that you're seeing that I've taken with this player, we can talk about positives and negatives. And to start with, I'll get the negatives out of the way. Um, I did notice that the strength was a bit of an issue. Uh, from time to time, he was able to hold off a couple of defenders. Like right there, he just managed to hold off a defender. But the amount of times I got barged off the ball was, uh, was, was pretty high. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we also then have a, a relatively low stamina player here. It's in the mid-70s and I did notice significant drop-off in the latter stages of the game. Um, he is still a very quick player, of course, but you just lose that, that little bit of edge that he has at the start of the game because he is so quick. Uh, and then the amount of shots it took me to actually score goals uh, when I started using this player was quite a lot. And I noticed that he didn't seem too composed in front of goal. Uh, so that's definitely something you guys need to, to bear in mind. I think sometimes I was hitting shots whilst almost still sprinting. And that was hitting the ball very, very wide of the post. But moving into the positives here we need to talk about them because uh, I did score a lot of goals with Timo Werner and he is known as more of an overpower player in this game and I think I did enjoy him quite a lot uh, the pace is obviously the main thing that you're gonna notice and oh, that's one of the main like uh, selling points for this player you know you're gonna buy him because he's got 94 pace on his item and he is a super quick player that's gonna burst past defenders and he definitely can do that both his acceleration and sprint speed are phenomenally quick it's, it's quite scary sometimes how quick he is uh, and he does possess that those you know those those important stats which I've said time and time again are very useful to a player he's got great agility and balance and also fantastic ball control and dribbling so pace agility balance dribbling and ball control all of those stats together make someone who's very difficult to tackle and uh, that is Timo Werner if he only had better skill moves it would it would make him a lot more dangerous. But of course he is limited to the 3 star. So he can do a roulette or something. Uh, but you're pretty much limited to the LTRT and no touch dribbling. Um, his positioning is great. You know he's, he's never really going to be a massive target man for you. That's why I was playing him next to Modest who is that target man. Um, but really we're talking last shoulder of the defender. Intelligent runs and... Just sheer pace, getting through one-on-one -on -one quite often. Uh, that, that's his game. That's what that's what Timo Werner's all about. And the good thing about him getting through one-on-one -on -one is that he then gets inside the box. And his finishing ability is very good. Now, I mentioned that I, it took me a couple of games to start getting used to him. But by the end, I was scoring a couple of goals a game. Or even a hat-trick. Or even four goals in one of the games, I think. Uh, because I just understood what I needed to do. I needed to slow down, get composed... And then just slot it in a corner with a low driven shot. And yeah, I could rely on, on both feet with, with Werner because of his four star weak foot. Um, but mainly that that, that nice uh, right foot low driven across the goalkeeper playing as a right striker. Yeah, very, very dangerous. And he, he scored a lot of goals for me and was a 
well, definitely a successful striker in my eyes. So yeah, he is everything you would expect. A very pacey striker with fantastic ability of sticking the ball in the back of the net. And overall, I definitely rate him on FIFA 17. Let me know, guys, if you've managed to use him, what you think of him, down below in that comment section. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.